quarantine. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Nothing that we expected. Definitely didn't expect it to last this long, but in unexpected trials comes triumph. And today I bring you a triumphant collection of quarantine closet essentials. This is everything that I deem to be essential for my life, clothing wise, for quarantine and like getting through what makes me comfortable, what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis, basically. What I'm gonna do is uh, I have five different styles of items, two of each, and just gonna dive right into it. So, starting off, vintage t-shirts. I have two here. So, this one in this hand is a vintage sleeveless Jimi Hendrix tee, front and back graphic, super cool. Tie-dye, definitely one of my favorite vintage t-shirts in my collection. I wear this a ton. Next up, shameless plug, my David and Goliath t-shirt. I genuinely do wear this every day, almost every day, all the time. It's wrinkled because it was in the dirty clothes. Yeah, that just shows you that like I really do wear this shirt all the time. One of my favorite t-shirts, not only because it's mine, but because it genuinely is like a fantastic t-shirt, like one of the best t-shirts I own. So there's that. Moving forward with the tops, I think that having a button up is super essential. Something that's flowy, comfortable, something that you can just toss on and not think about, like slip it over your head. I keep mine at the same button length and I literally like, I put it on like it's a t-shirt and I slip right into it and there's like no worries. I can wear this thing all the time. It has paint on it already because I've painted in it and on it. I've even, you know, done some little design stuff to it out of boredom. But this is a good like project shirt in my opinion. And then I have another version of a button up, oversized as well. Uh, this one's more flannel material. This one will keep me a bit warmer if like I'm a, ever a bit chilly in a house or if I wanna step outside for a second and it's not blazing hot, you know, I'll put the flannel on. Love the colors in this, same thing. I keep it at the same button length and I just slip it over my head. Very easy to put on. Moving forward, we all love a good hoodie, especially in the house. So. I'm gonna show you guys two of my favorite hoodies right now, pieces that I've owned for a bit and have gotten tons of wear out of. So that being said, first up, brand from a friend of mine called Mr. Saturday. So shout out to you, Joey. I got this in Paris right before he dropped them online. We were there for fashion week. Uh, you know, he was showing his collection at his showroom and you know, had a great pop-up space next door to his showroom for people to come and hang out wonderful idea like honestly seeing what he's done from you know last fashion week to this fashion this past fashion week was just incredible so i was happy to support him with this hoodie again one of my favorite hoodies that i own the construction on this thing is amazing the weight on it is super nice i don't see many white or cream hoodies out in the market so i was really hyped to have one for my own personal collection so super happy with this one i definitely wear this one a lot it is white so i don't wear it a ton you know because it'll get dirty or i'll spill something on it but next with the hoodies this is another one of my favorites um, i stand by this hoodie i suggest it to any and everybody this is a hoodie from total kyle this is their archive brand so it is the brand for the store this thing is beat up in my opinion. Like my dog's been chewing on the drawstrings, paint on it, the stains on it. But the fit of this hoodie is like absolutely insane. Great weight, the material is incomparable. It's, it's really nice. It's, it's got raglan sleeves, which I love. Great pocket, really boxy on the bottom, you know, compared to most, uh, you know, your general hoodie. It's gonna have a an elastic hem on the bottom. Uh, the Total Kayo one does not, something that I enjoy. Um, it's. You know, it's a bit different from the typical approach to hoodies and sweatshirts. So happy to have this in my collection. I wear this one all the time, especially because it's brown. It's like a rusty brownish burgundy color. Very easy to just throw on and not really care about. Moving into bottom half. One thing that I think is super important that a lot of people who are into style and fashion are finding to be oddly comfortable during this time is a pair of jeans. I have. I think four pairs of 501s. Um, some have paint on them, some don't. This pair specifically is my favorite because they're cropped a bit. The distressing and the fit on them is amazing. I have plenty of room in them. You know, they're blown out in certain areas, but so it doesn't really matter. Love this pair of pants. Like I said, I cropped them myself. But yeah, I really love this, this pair of pants. Wear these all the time. Like I said, I was surprised at how comfortable I would be in a pair of jeans just being in the house. Like whether I'm on the couch or sitting on the floor, I can go outside like they're just perfect for any and everything that i want to do um and then moving forward one more pair of jeans these are uh, a vintage pair as well from the brand Janko. i think i'm saying that right it's super baggy i think this is cool to have because like you know 501 is a bit more slim 
uh, not tailored, but it's a more slim, less casual. Um, this really feels like a pair of sweatpants. Like they're big, they're baggy, they can drag. Like I really don't care. I just, I wear these around the house with a t-shirt on, call it a day, super comfortable. Um, so that's it for jeans. Moving forward into what most of us are used to and what most of us are putting on during this time are sweatpants. I'm not a big fan of shorts. Like shorts for me are like athletic. Like I'm not, you won't typically find me out in a pair of shorts. I only own maybe like three or four pairs and I still don't really wear them that often. So I'm much more of a sweatpants guy when I'm in the house. I love sweatpants. These are a good go-to for me. These are like Walmart or Target branded sweatpants. Crop them because I love me a crop pant threw some paint on them and yeah, just wear these things all the time. Definitely in line with David and Goliath. I haven't actually dropped a pair of sweatpants, which maybe I will. You guys let me know in the comments if you'd like to see this for me. But right now, just uh, just been wearing these and like been super happy with the way that these feel and the way that these look. I literally throw this pair of pants on almost every day. Another pair of pants that was, another item that was in my laundry basket because of how much I've been wearing them. So, and then moving on, one more pair of sweatpants. Uh, these are my Rick Owens pusher sweats. I don't wear these as much, but you know, like I said, when those sweats are in the wash or if I just want, you know, a slightly like more elevated feel, I definitely don't shy away from these. These are one of the most comfortable pair of sweats I, I own. I've had them for, I think a year now. Yeah, I got them last June during Fashion Week um, at the Rick Owens store in Paris. So I've had them for about a year now. They're absolutely destroyed on the hem. This was pre-quarantine that this happened just for me walking around anywhere in New York, at work. Like I've, I literally, like when I really love an item, I wear it to the ground. Um, this is kind of what happened with these pants. Like I've just been wearing the crap out of them, but I enjoy it. Like, you know, one thing that I love is seeing people who have pieces that are highly sought after or pieces that you know you spent a lot of money on, but you're not afraid of wearing it. Like I love seeing a pair of really beat up Gucci loafers. Like I love seeing a pair of, you know, really torn up Balenciaga jeans. You know, I just love seeing that people are living in their things and really caring in a sense of not being scared of wearing it. Like I think that caring for something is using it to its fullest potential. And that's what I do with my clothes for the most part. So. Those are my essentials when it comes to clothing. We'll move into footwear now. For me, footwear isn't as much of a thing. I walk around the house barefoot most of the time, but there are times where I do put some shoes on, whether I'm going outside or not. Sometimes I will still walk around the house with some shoes. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling, but I'm a barefoot kid all day long. I love being barefoot, love feeling the ground, love walking around with nothing on shoe wise even if i do go outside it's whatever but i think that it's important because i know a lot of people do like wearing shoes i don't wear socks in the house that is a no-go like it's either shoes or it's barefoot i will not put on socks and just walk around the house in socks i think that's gross but that's just me one pair of shoes white band slip-ons i skateboard so i just started skating in these yesterday actually and you know they're getting a bit beat in a different way like first they were just super dirty and dingy but now you know they're getting holes and stuff like that so i won't be wearing these around the house as much because now they have more a different purpose love vans love slip-ons you know all white slip-ons are go-to for me but i don't typically get van slip-ons in any other color damn daniel back at it again with the white van I like to cycle through these and keep these in my collection always. It could be compared to like a white Air Force One for some people. Like white slip-on vans are my white Air Force One. Second sneaker wise, Rick Owens Ramones. This has newly been added into my rotation for like walk around the house, daily wear. Um, these were, this was my second pair of Ricks that I've ever owned. So I've had these for years, absolutely worn to the ground. The soles are destroyed. The toe box is like just completely like obliterated. Um, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with these. I was like, you know, I don't feel confident wearing these out with a fit on, like they're just way too beat up. Like I could just get another pair. Like I do have the black and white high top leathers. So I've been wearing those a lot more when it comes to like putting an outfit together. I do want another pair of low tops. I'm a cleaner pair, but what I decided to do is just like, just wear them. Like, you know, I unlaced them and kept them loose like this and 
you know, I'm not afraid of just tossing them on. Like if I'm painting or if I've got to do some yard work, like this is now my beater. I think it's kind of cool. You know, it's, it goes back to, you know, what I just said, like having on something that's, you know, kind of highly sought after or highly respected and then just running it to the ground. And that's exactly what I did with these shoes. More into a casual, more comfortable, more quarantine appropriate. Uh, we're going to get into sandals slides, footwear, things like that. So first and foremost, I have my Rick Owens Birkenstocks. These are the black cowhide pair. So they have the fur on them. Um, I have a new puppy and he has been trying to attack these slippers nonstop. He won't go after any other shoe in the house. He comes into my room, you know, grab it by the strap and walk away with it. And I'm just like, where are you going with my, with my sandals, bro? Like, can't do that. Yeah, but you know, Birkenstocks are good go-to perfect um they don't have to be rick of course like you know birkenstocks are available they have a plethora of styles and colorways on the site um doesn't have to be rick i've enjoyed these haven't worn them as much honestly as i would like to but now that it's getting warmer i definitely will have these on more my go-to for slides have been these john galliano slides the jg on the front i love the sole they're really cool they're full leather so super comfortable but i really like these you know the navy is sick got these from ukes they're extremely hard to find now be wearing this sandal a lot during the summer for sure once the world opens back up no socks just feet out i don't care like whatever so yeah those are my quarantine essentials hope you guys enjoyed this video appreciate you guys for coming and checking me out on a consistent basis please like subscribe comment you know all that stuff i have to say that stuff oddly i don't really like to i don't want to feel like i'm trying to force your hand in supporting me i will get more consistent with video content for sure so if you guys are looking for anything else for me in the future, let me know. I'll meet you on the next one.